Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Mahoney. I'm a professional wood turner, and I'd like to say thank you for watching my DVD here today. Well, you've caught me here in my shop in the depths of winter, roughing out bowls that will become a finished product later this spring and summer, then they'll be distributed to my galleries across North America. What I'm making here are family heirlooms, hopefully a product that will last for generations. What's unique about my work is I guarantee it for life. And you might say that's easy to do if you're selling your work to really old people, but that's not really what's going on here. What I'm doing is I'm making my work out of a very dur durable timber that will stand the rigors of daily use. And I've also thought carefully about the design of my work and how the finish reflects the longevity of my product as well. Today, let's follow me through the process of gathering the wood, cutting it out of the tree, through the drying process, all the way to putting a finish on it. And I hope you enjoy. Well, I've taken a couple inches of wood off the end of the log here to get to the fresh timber. What's really important with a dinner plate is that we get it out of the quarter sawn area of the log. We don't want to take the plate off the side of the pith here because the annual rings will be elongated in our work. Here's our rough turn canister. Basically what I've done is I've cut our wall thicknesses thicker than the 10% of the diameter that I would normally advocate for the drying process. This wood is very dry and stable and I can get away with a little thicker cross section. That cross section is the same all the way through the piece. That'll make it dry real evenly and lessen the ability for it to crack. Now I'm going to set these aside for a few months, but I'm going to get deeper into the drying process after we rough turn and core our nested bowl set. 